TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not. We are minus not alive. So we are live. I mean, we are live, but we are live on Twitch. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. You can catch all the highlights on this channel if there's any worthy of that. Don't forget, we do got the Patreon. And we also got the Discord as well. Um, let's let's TikTok prankster Mizzy arrested for breach of community protection order. I'm not sure like what he does on TikTok. I just seen that he went. I like I recently seen a TikTok of him going into somebody crib. Like and this is what I was gonna. And when I seen it, I was like, if he was to do this at anywhere else like if he was to do this in the south if he was to do this in chicago if he like he wouldn't be breathing no more he'd be unalive so i mean he's picking the right place to do it you gotta stay safe man when you're doing these irl pranks to people like to that are not like that are unsuspecting you know what I'm saying? I, I don't condone it. Because I know how serious life is. But let's see this. Happens, happens. The movement is real. We outside every single day. Make sure to share this everywhere. 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 Free to God. Everywhere. Free to God. Everywhere, man. When I see you again. When I I really appreciate wow. you joining me today, and this news comes from London. Social media influencer Mizzy has been arrested by the Metropolitan... 18-year-old man was arrested in suspicion of causing a public nu 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 nuisance and is currently in police custody. He was arrested on the evening of Monday, May 22nd. Police, for a prank that he did on social media, his TikTok has been deleted since, and he went viral for... A Damn, his TikTok got deleted? See? ...video where he walked into somebody's home without being invited and sat down on their sofa. He then streamed this onto social media and the couple were clearly confused and understandably probably quite worried as well. There was a child in the house at this time. And this video- There was a child, see, listen. It wouldn't even have been a back and forth for me and Mizzy. I would have, you know, <laughs> hey, respectfully, Mizzy would have been one with this nice wood floor. He would have been one with it. They would have been combined. Mizzy and the card wood floor right here would have been infused as one. It has gone viral in ways that I haven't seen the video go viral. Before. It's a nice crib too. We haven't shared it to the social medias because this is exactly what these kids want as well. They want people to share it and controversy. And that's the whole reason as to why they do it is because it causes outrage and it creates fame. He has even spoken himself on social media, admitted to doing the videos and also why he does the videos and saying that he's been on social media. I mean, you brave for this, but I, it's not a condonable thing, man. You got to like... Social media is one, almost 100% fake. And you're part of a small group on social media that be doing real stuff. And this real stuff will get you put in jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get you put in jail, get you uh, get you, get you a, a, a ceremony, get you a free box, get you some free fire for cremation. Like, it'll, it'll do that to you. Like, you gotta, you gotta chill. <laughs> since he was eight years old and has always aspired to do this. Not and it has this. now turned out from the police statements that he's already been arrested for similar things like this. The Metropolitan Police said in a statement yesterday they were carrying out an investigation to trace a man after the video showed him entering a private residence on social media. The main individual in the footage they said is 18 years old and he's been identified by the police. He is sitting in the company of another person entering a private address in Hackney, seemingly without the permission of the homeowners. They went on to say that they believe that he has breached a community protection. You know who he remind me of? This is a child of Bunk Gang. Y'all remember Bunk Gang? He used to run off on the barbers, go in the stores and run off and do dumb stuff and run away. 
This is his key or something. Should notice that was issued last May that prohibits him from carrying out any act that will or is intended to cause harassment, alarm or distress. It is believed the content of the video in question could amount to such a breach. The breach was imposed, they said, due to a number of historical videos on social media by the same individual. So some other videos that people are posting where he stole someone's dog and he also intimidates people in the streets where he asks them if they want to die. And the people get nervous and... Don't come up to me and ask me that. <laughs> I'm going to say yes and then say, show me. <laughs> like, I... I it's just the, the person that's that's inside of me that I'm trying to leave away. But like, like what are you so doing? One guy tries to walk away from him and then he tries to explain that all he meant was, do you want dye for your hair? So he, he does it as sort of a joke where it's just too far. It just goes too far. Where if he'd have ended it quite quickly or the people were aware that were involved in the video, then it wouldn't be such an issue. But he does this to complete strangers in times where people are really nervous about knife crime and people trying to rub each other. And he doesn't really help the situation. And That's what I'm saying. Like, okay, this is, this is the plan, man. If I was your social media manager or something and things of that nature, okay, you got the reputation now. You got the reputation now. You get out. You got the reputation. Your social, your TikTok's deleted. It's over. You're not getting back on there, buddy. But like, you could go do these on Facebook or t like. But like, now that you got the reputation for them being real, people won't know if they're real or fake if you do them again. So now it's just like plan them out now. You know what I'm saying? They got to be scripted now. You can't come out doing the same stuff, bro. Or doing it the same way. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Be smarter than this. This has caused a lot of people to have a lot of opinions. Detective Chief Inspector James Conway from the Central Command said, we are aware of the video circulating on social media. Troll Station was scripted. Media and mainstream media. And we understand this has caused a lot of concern. They would like to reassure the public they are taking the matter very seriously. Like, like this, he went in here and actually grabbed a book. Like, you could have did this same prank. They don't know, but you could have did this same prank, went in to the store, bought a little cheap book, came in the library, acted like you brought the book out of there and ripped it up in front of them, and then said, oh, I, oh my bad, I'm bad. I, it's just a prank, and showed them the receipt. I bought this book. You know what I'm saying? Troll Station is not scripted. Okay. <laughs> Conducting an investigation. And the latest update this morning is that the... Agent when I say it's scripted, I mean between two people, they have a script. Now, the audience that are around them may be unsuspecting, but these two people that are in on it, they're in on it together. <laughs> the old has been arrested on suspicion of causing a public nuisance and he's currently in police custody. He was arrested last night on Monday the 22nd of May. The arrest followed an investigation into social media footage that featured a number of incidents where he approached people in the street or on public transport and also entered addresses without permission of owners. So due to the public outrage as well, this has definitely made the police need to do something as well. And at the same time, from what I've been told, I believe Nizzy may have become a father recently. And this is the last... Oh, he's a dad too. Last thing that you really need in relation to just becoming a dad is potentially more... Kids having kids is crazy. ...or a criminal record of some sort. Due to the ongoing nature of the investigation, we shall not discuss this video anymore or this topic, but I'll definitely keep you updated on that. Oh, there's multiple of them? We shall not discuss this video anymore or this topic. One, two, three. Three of them going in a, in a potential fourth going in that crib? Brother. But I'll definitely keep you updated on the outcome. And I really appreciate you joining me. And please don't forget to check out the website for other updates. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put that semi to work. I don't care. Do not run it. Especially because I got a daughter. Like, like you, it's, it's up. Allegedly. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.